Welcome to Andalusia, the land of olive groves and gastronomic jewels such as table olives and extra virgin olive oil. This is where a large part of the liquid gold that makes Spain the world's largest producer of olive oil comes from. Let's discover this emblem of the Mediterranean diet. This journey is taking us to Priego de Cordoba, a must-see region for olive lovers. To Morrón de la Frontera, where I learn about how table olives are cured before tasting them as a tapas dish in Seville. At an altitude of more than 1,000 meters, these olive groves are difficult to access, but it's worth the effort. Centuries old olive trees and a superb microclimate produce the most awarded extra virgin olive oil in the world. To obtain an extra virgin olive oil, olives have to be collected directly from the tree, not from the ground. From these fresh olives, the juice is extracted to make the extra virgin olive oil. We are in time to witness the heroic olive harvest, an arduous task on challenging terrain, too steep for mechanical assistance. Do you want to try it? It's important to hit on the side of the branch, not to damage the tree or the fruit. OK, like this? You can hit it harder. More than 260 types of olive are grown in Spain. Some olives are used only for oil, some are just eaten, and others can be used for both. In less than one hour, these picuda olives will become virgin extra olive oil thanks to the latest technology innovation. A fruit juice from freshly harvested olives known since the times of the ancient Greeks as liquid gold, and quite rightly. It's very aromatic. Here, taste it. You'll feel the sweetness, the bitterness on your tongue, and the spiciness that stays back there. Yes, I can feel the bitterness. It's very tasty. To learn about other ways of processing olives, I head to Morón de la Frontera near Seville. Olives are too bitter and low in sugar to eat raw. It was the Romans who came up with the technique that put the olive fruit on the dinner table. They are fermented in brine and their bitterness is neutralized in an alkaline solution before they can be eaten as simple olives. The most popular varieties to eat are manzanilla, gordal or ojiblanca. But why are some olives better to make olive oil and others to be eaten? The varieties that are used for olive oil are those with a high fat yield. For table olives, other characteristics such as flavour, colour, fruit quality, pulp to stone ratio and texture are more important. Once fermented, they can be pickled, stuffed, marinated. But the dressing, called aliño, is what makes Spanish olive special. What is your secret to preparing excellent olives? Apart from making a good olive selection, designing a good recipe is important. For example, a good dressing should include pepper, garlic, some aroma in the brine, spices. We're always looking for tradition. My last stop is Seville. I can't leave the Andalusia region without trying an olive-based dish. Chef Daniel del Toro is preparing a created tapas. We are making a foam with the olives dressing with fennel and orange. The olive has the four basic tastes, sour, salty, bitter and sweet. And that gives any dish the umami we're looking for. The olive has umami. What will become of Mediterranean gastronomic culture without this ancient fruit? Olive savouriness, together with its high level of antioxidants, vitamins and fiber, make it a perfectly healthy snack, stuffed with all you can imagine. Should we try it? Sure, this is the best part. Two olives. Mm, it's amazing. The contribution of olives in the mix of ingredients is superb.